Good morning, Tenney students. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's video. It has come to the conclusion that The Invisible Boy, read by Emily Ford, has won our vote. Today's books, Extra Yarn, read by Izzy Gonzalez, and This Is Not My Hat, read by Amber Rojas, will be competing against each other. Hope you have an amazing day, and I hope you enjoy the video. Arf, arf. Hi, guys. It's me, Annabelle's dog, Mars. This is a story on my best friend, a.k.a. the best dog owner, read by Izzy. Hi, my name is Isabel Gonzalez, and I will be reading Extra Yarn by Mac Berman. On a cold afternoon in a cold little town where everywhere you looked was either white of snow or black of suit of from chimneys, Annabelle found a box filled with yarn of every color. So she went home and knit herself a sweater. And when Annabelle was done, she had some extra yarn. So she knit a sweater for Mars too, but there was still extra yarn. <clears throat> and when Annabelle and Mars went for a walk, Nate pointed and laughed and said, you two look ridiculous. You're just jealous, said Annabelle. No, I'm not, said Nate. but it turned out he was. And even after she made a sweater for Nate and his dog and herself and for Mars, she still had extra yarn. At school, Annabelle's classmates could not stop talking about her sweater. Quiet, shouted Mr. Norman. Quiet, everyone. Annabelle, that sweater of yours is a terrible distraction. I cannot teach with everyone turning around to look at you. Then I'll knit, ev then I'll knit one for everyone, Annabelle said, so they won't have to turn around. Impossible, said Mr. Norman. You can't. But it turned out she could, and she did, even for Mr. Norman. And when she was done, Annabelle still had extra yarn. So she knitted sweaters for her mom and dad and Mr. Pendleton and Mrs. Pendleton and for Dr. Palmer and for Louis, little Louis. She made sweaters for everyone, except Mr. Crabtree, who never wore sweaters or even long pants, and who would stand in his shorts with the snow up to his knees. No sweater for me, thanks, said Mr. Crabtree. So she made Mr. Crabtree a hat, and even then Annabelle still had extra yarn. She made sweaters for all the dogs, and all the cats, and for other animals too. Soon, people thought, soon, Annabelle will run out of yarn. It turned out she didn't. So Annabelle made sweaters for things that didn't even wear sweaters. Things began to change in that little town. News spread of this remarkable girl who never ran out of yarn. And people came to visit around the world to see all the sweaters and to shake Annabelle's hand. One day, an archduke who was very fond of clothes sailed across the sea and demanded to see Annabelle. <clears throat> Little girl, said the Archduke, I would like to buy that miraculous box of yarn, and I am willing to offer you one million dollars. 
No, thank you, said Annabelle, who was knitting a sweater for a pickup truck. The Archduke's mustache twitched. Two million dollars, he said. Annabelle shook her head. No, thanks. Ten million dollars, shouted the Archduke. Take it or leave it. Leave it, said Annabelle. I won't sell the yarn. And she didn't. So that night, the Archduke hired three robbers to break in Annabelle's house. And they stole the box and took it to the Archduke, who set off across the snow and sailed over the sea. Back to his castle, the Archduke put his favorite song and sat in his best chair. Then he took out the box and lifted its lid, and he looked inside. His mustache quivered, it shivered, it trembled. The Archduke hurled the box out the window and shouted, Little girl, I curse you with my family's curse. You will never be happy again. But it turned out she was the end. Bloop, bloop. Hi, my name is Linda, the fish from This Is Now My Hat, and my good old friend Amber will be reading my story. Hi, my name is Amber, and I'll be reading This Is Not My Hat by John Classen. This is not my hat. I just stole it. I stole it from a big fish. He was asleep when I did it. And he probably won't wake up for a long time. And even if he does wake up, he probably won't notice that it's gone. And even if he does notice that it's gone, he probably won't know it was me who took it. And even if he does guess it was me, he won't know where I am going. But I will tell you where I'm going. I am going where the plants grow big and tall and close together. It is very hard to see in there. Nobody will ever find me. There is someone who saw me already, but he said he wouldn't tell anyone which way I went. So I am not worried about that. I know it's wrong to steal a hat. I know it does not belong to me, but I am going to keep it. It was way too small for him anyway. It fits me just right. And look, I made it. Where the plants grow big and tall and close together. I knew I was going to make it. Nobody will ever find me.
the end.